Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Array Methods 13 for part 5 of module 1. And we're going to get the largest element. And it says it should return 0 if the array is empty. So first thing, we'll sort out our edge case. If um, array.length is equal to 0, return 0. Next we're going to initialize a variable as largest. And we'll set that equal to the first element of the array. We're going to assume that the array is full of numbers. We're going to selectively iterate over the rest of the array. And then we're going to check to see if the current element is greater than our largest element. In the event that it is, we're going to reassign largest to be the current element in the array. After the iteration is finished, largest will contain our largest element. So we return it. Mm, excellent. Compute sum of all elements. Given an array of numbers, compute sum of all elements returns the sum of all elements in the given array. All right, so we're going to want to create a sum variable that we'll return at the end. Let's jump down to the bottom and return that sum element. And we're going to iterate over the array so we can have a look at all of the elements in the array. And for each one of those, we are going to set sum to be equal to what sum was plus the current element in the array. This is, of course, the same as sum plus equals array at i. And for those of you who may mistakenly think that this is the same as sum plus plus, that is not the case. Sum plus plus is equal to sum is equal to sum plus uh, plus one. So plus plus is a way to increment by one. Uh, plus equals is similar to that, but it would only be work only work in the case where we were trying to add one. Uh, for this we're adding whatever the current array element is, so sum is equal to sum plus array at i, or sum plus equals array at i, and finally return sum at the end. And we're in good shape. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.